Mad Dr. Yoda at it again. <laughs> this time T45. T45, free wing. Yep. Uh, used to be my favourite EDF and now after just a couple of flights it's my favourite turbine. Yeah, it flies really well. It, it is. Really, well, really stable, just straight off the bat. Straight it's, off the bat. It's locked in. You can probably hear a lot of wind noise today. It's it's really quite gusty westerly today. Luckily it's straight down the strip, but as soon as I wound the Jetty Assist gyro up, it just smoothed out, and it's a delightful thing to fly. Really good fun. <laughs> and uh, so, in terms of the, like the throws and stuff like that, all per manual. Um, soft rates. I'm going with the manual. Yeah. Pretty much everything soft rates, um, and full flap, just a little bit less than what manual says. They say 40 mil. I'm about 35, but it's all pretty standard. CG standard spot on that light there, like everybody nose yeah these have been out for a long time yeah the only things i've done differently which i never like the slats on these they're not a functional slat as far as aerodynamically they if you have a look at them when they're open it's quite an ugly show going on for the poor old air and it's just drag and they're quite heavy you save a, I don't know a couple of hundred grams even though it doesn't sound like a lot it means a lot but what it means is you can stiffen the whole wing up where the servos come out from i put some blue foam in there glued it all up, glued the slats onto the leading edge so it stiffens that whole leading edge up and you don't get much wing flex and it actually flies much nicer. Wow. I left the air brakes in these ones, so I just see how they go. So they're functional. Normally I'd take them out on the EDF because they're not necessary, but I've left these ones because we've got bags of power. Yeah. I've gone with the Paul Appleboom setup. Yeah, so his, his tank, his um, thrust tube, his, he even provided the MAP uh, UAT. That's brilliant. So, and running the Zekoi X45 out of all my other ones. So Yeah, so this would be what, your third, fourth conversion now? Yeah, third I think it yeah. is. Yeah, so we have the MiG-29, the A4, and now the T45. Yep. And uh, we, we're just waiting on to see what the next project is. Really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I think three flights today. Yeah, uh, it's, you've had no issue, you haven't had to tighten anything. No, or... and pretty much no trim changes. Yeah. Just straight out of the box, I was just saying to Mikel then. Uh, yeah, Free Wing Factory's done a beautiful job. All the linkages were spot on, everything was just dead level. So, yeah. really good, very yeah. happy with it. The conversion was simple as. Yeah. And even against like my MiG-21, which has the same power plant, this thing's quick. Oh yeah, yeah, it gets <laughs> yeah, going. It's, it's very slippery, you wouldn't think it, you'd think the MiG's slippery, and it kind of is, but even yeah. with those wings and that, yeah, like you do full throttle, or almost full throttle yeah. passes, this thing would move. It's quick. <laughs> and it looks good in the sky too, I mean, they're, they're, who who doesn't like those uh, those Navy training scheme? Um, yeah, that's great. No, yeah, it's a sweet model. <laughs> Brilliant. Let's fly. Let's fly. <laughs>
Is that what it was? Thank you for watching and please remember to subscribe to the Mickey BRC channel and click here to see more videos. Come on, pick something.